If you're working with the retail functionality, then one of the workspaces that you might want to have a look at is the pricing and discount management. So if we go into pricing and discount management, what it does is it gives me an overview of all of the prices that we have relevant to retail um, in terms of what are the active discounts, uh, pending uh, discounts in terms of things I've set up but haven't uh, activated yet, uh, discounts that may be for affiliates, uh, catalog discounts, pricing rules, pricing adjustments. So from here you can see kind of those lists and drill into them in management. You can also find some links here, for example the price simulator, go to the trade agreements, uh, pricing group set up, uh, affiliates, mix and match, line groups. So um, the workspace gives you a central view of getting access to uh, the pricing and discount information. Now this workspace also gives you the ability to configure the workspace so if we go and configure we can specify a channel for example so I could look at uh, channels for retail store uh, by business unit by region for example so let's pick Contoso and then we can pick for example Super then I can pick Boston and then from here I could also pick the product category hierarchy and which category I might be looking at. So this gives me a filtering option uh, to specify filters that I might want to sort of see on my dashboard. Or I can also see, well not my dashboard but my workspace. Workspace being um, a unique area that I can do specific functions from. So. I can also do new from here, so if I want to create a new um, a discount, um, uh, mix and match, quantity, threshold, so all of these are retail specific uh, discounts. So that's essentially the price and discount workspace. Uh, it really just gives me a central view of all of those discounts and then from here I can go and do the maintenance on those from a central place which is the price and discount workspace.